Hey what is going on guys, this is Connor Semsk here and today I'm going to be doing a quick reply to Optic Crimzix. Uh, basically he came out and said, and I think also Parasite as well, uh, they were claiming that the PS4 Bluetooth connection is actually faster than the brand new uh, PlayStation controllers that have a wired option. So uh, we're going to actually do our best to compare the two and I'm going to actually slow everything down as fast as I possibly can, make sure everything is perfectly 100% synced and hopefully we can uh, get a good clear answer on this so um, I don't know how significant it is but they are saying it's quite a difference so um, I don't really know a lot of people are saying the best uh, method as of right now if you want a wired controller is still a Cronus Mac so regardless let's get into this uh, first thing we're gonna do is go all the way over here on Genesis on Infinite Warfare I'm just doing it on Infinite Warfare uh, just to kind of prove a point because that's what they play um, here we are here and I'm just gonna be using the M1 Garand for this uh, specific test and right here what we have is a battle beaver controller this is the generation 1 PlayStation controller which is connected via Bluetooth so uh, it's just you know regular battle beaver generation 1 Bluetooth and this over here is a regular stock PS4 controller uh, no paddles or anything on the back and this is actually a generation 2 controller so I'll put the model number um, like a nice high-res model number that's located right there uh, just so that way you can see uh, that this is actually a generation 2 controller so what I'm gonna do is do a test with the Bluetooth controller and then what I'm gonna do is take my uh, trusty control freak USB cable that's plugged into my PS4 plug it in to the uh, generation 2 controller and we'll do a quick test with that and just basically compare the two so uh, let's get into this Okay, so now what I'm going to do is plug in my handy dandy control free cable into the generation 2 controller and this is going to turn on, my PS4 is going to detect it momentarily and boom, we're going to sign in and we're going to go over to my system settings and we're going to go to the controllers just to make sure that everything is set uh, to use the USB device. So we're going to go to, I believe devices, controllers. Uh, communication method USB cable it's already set to that but there it is there and it's basically set so here we are in game and I actually already feel the difference holy shit uh, wow that's kind of crazy um, anyways uh, I'm gonna do this test and kind of try to prove it to you guys but I actually do feel the difference I don't think they're insane at all but here it is here So I'm going to do my best to show you guys with these results uh, that there is definitely a difference between the two. I don't understand how it's even possible that a wired device has more input lag than a wireless device, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoy these results. If you learned something new from this video, be sure to leave a like rating, share it on Twitter, maybe Crimzix or someone else can see the video uh, and basically defend their argument. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Just a side note here, I just wanted to add this in. Uh, I do have everything 100% perfectly synced to the exact frame here in Sony Vegas. So when you go through, the Bluetooth fires first. And uh, that's at approximately uh, frame 15,037. So we can keep going right there. So it's about a three frame difference. If there's 60 frames per every second, uh, you can do the math. Uh, there is definitely quite a difference there.